Shining. Staging up the place, right? So the DNA, and I mentioned the uh, MLX. So how you get the name Healer or Healer Cells? You take the first two letters of a name, H E Hemiata, and then Lax L A. So you got Healer Cells. Mm -hmm. Now Healer Cells, you had a polio jab in your lifetime when you were younger. Say that again. Anti polio jab. You might have had one when yeah. you was younger. So if you did, like most people did out here, then her cells are in you right now. Her cells are in every single hospital on planet Earth. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? And they stole her cell when she had uh, cervical cancer in 1951. This is back in Baltimore. And it didn't, the family didn't find out until 25 years after she passed. Exactly. Every hospital has a, has a virus in the, you know. That's 1951. Why can there be enough to go but, around and everything? Because they duplicated. What happened is that what's unique about her cells is the only cells to replicate in culture outside the human body. So they kept on duplicating, duplicating, duplicating. So they're fighting a lot of um, viruses with her cells to this very day. And that's in 1951, right? Go ahead. And 1951 in the scheme of things is yesterday. You follow? So back then, like, say you sisters, you had a stomach upset, you go to the hospital, you come outside the hospital, no wound. I know, it's Now that's still going on right now. Especially like, vasectomies the, and things the, of that nature. Races of colour, when it comes to being a person of colour, it's so easy for them to do that. But when it comes to, and you know how this world is run by white supremacy, like, yep. they'll do everything that they can. It's just ridiculous. I feel like there's, there's so much injustice towards coloured people when it comes to, like, organ donation and, like, organ harvesting and trafficking. And it's like, there's no... And you're all aware of the thing that happened um, the other month where you, you had to opt out of your yeah, organs yeah, yeah, being yeah. donated, yeah, right? They do it automatically. That's yeah. ridiculous. And they've been doing that for years, like taking people. There was a big case back in um, in the early 90s uh -huh. in the city of Liverpool up in Merseyside in the northwest of England. Yeah. And it was taking children's organs. And that was a big scandal. And that, that came out into the open. So you can imagine, you know, and that, that got kept under until it came in the open. So you can imagine how many widespread that is across the board. <laughs> Trevon Martin and See what I'm other um, no youths that have been killed in America yeah. they only found out after the autopsy their organs was missing. That's and you know crazy. most of these organs are worth money, right? Yeah. Exactly, especially melanated people. You see what I'm saying? Which prompts me to say is that's why we gotta get back into the sciences. We gotta pick up our sciences. We all should know who Henry Alex was. We should know who this guy right here was. Mm -hmm. Right? His name is Ernest Ernest Everett Just. Is he white? No, he's a black guy. A great black man. Uh, he was a biologist, a marine biologist, and an embryologist. And he was born in something like 1886 or something. You know what I'm saying? To be under that kind of science at that age is excellent. Yeah. So, before uh, we got cut off, with Henry of the Lights, contemporary to her at the same time, you had, she's referred to, by the way, as the mother of modern day medicine. And then after her, you got another woman around the same time who's known as the Dark Lady of DNA. The Dark Lady of DNA, she's a Brit, she's actually born over here. Her, her name is um, Rosalind Franklin. Now what she's noted for is, um, along with another guy, his name escapes me now, is it Matthew? What she's known for is devising the scientific means of catching a picture of DNA via the science of diffraction. Contemporary to her now is Watson and Crick. Now you've got the Crick Institute in downtown London by St. Pancras, by the, the British Museum. Now what they done is devise the whole double helix thing. That's the book you were looking at earlier on. Now they won the Nobel Peace Prize award after she died, but she's the one who done all the work. It's kind of like how people will credit all Einstein as being a genius. He was all right, but he stole most of his fairies. He stole most of his fairies from Max Planck. You follow what I'm saying? So he was well ahead. So we gotta learn who was before, who was before, who was before, who was before. Yeah. Any questions? Just hit it, young lady. Any questions? You got just hit it, all right? DVDs are free for twenty, seven for, uh, free for ten, seven for twenty. Okay, it's all health and nutrition, uh, and sciences, and you know, biochemistry and metaphysics and all that good stuff. You heard? Yeah, every day. I'm here every day, y'all. I need to come back because we're running late, but I'd love to. Zero seven nine three zero two six two one twenty four. Your boy Brooklyn Kekne by the home tree stem. You heard? Stay positive. All right, keep those crystals going. All right, they're lovely. Have a good evening. I'll probably see you when I get down there. All right, no doubt. Uh, let me know what you're interested in, young lady. I got you. Um, yeah, I'm just.